it's it's been tough. Yeah, it's uh, you know there's 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 many moments, many miles, many hours where you know fighting a, a niggle or a bit of an injury, or you know just mentally sort of trying to fight and, and block out any discomfort or pain that I'm in. Since the last challenge, uh, my father-in-law has been diagnosed with prostate cancer and has gone through his treatment. We've lost two close friends of the family to cancer and another very, very good friend of ours is, is undergoing cancer treatment at the moment. So uh, that inspires me to want to do more for Cancer Research UK, to raise money for them and the scientists and the, the, the researchers to try and ultimately find a cure to this awful disease. I think fundraising is really addictive and when he sort of went over that quarter of a million mark I think he thought I really want to get this million pounds and I'm not going to stop until I do it so I was really worried about it because obviously we saw what he was like on the first challenge he took on and you know he did go through some really really dark moments then and I was really really nervous because I was kind of anticipating that you know where we'd gone through it before you're a bit more prepared for it and that actually is, is harder because you know what's coming but he hasn't had a, a, a real down day as of yet. I'm hoping it doesn't happen. Um, don't get me wrong, he's been in a lot of pain, but he honestly hasn't stopped smiling. There's been a few occasions where you can really, really tell that the tiredness has really started to kick in. But genuinely, his spirits overall have been incredibly high. So I've been really happy, to be honest, with how he's been doing. You know, we've been going sort of about 12 hours today alone. Um, getting our way around all the clubs. I've got my wife, my children on the challenge with me. You know, I, I could not do it without them. The support team are incredible. Uh, representatives of Cancer Research UK. Just everybody is in it for the right reasons and uh, they're, they're working their socks off behind the scenes to, to get me around the country safely and successfully. Yesterday, the day before, I lose track of the days. There was actually one moment I was just running the whole marathon on my own, and I just remember getting quite emotional and almost to the point of tears, just trotting along. And it was the thought of I really wanted to give up at that point in many ways because I was in such discomfort and pain. But I just got upset at the thought if I did that, how I'd be letting people down, and ultimately, sort of probably the effect that would have on donations to to what we're trying to raise money for and, and how that would affect other people's lives. So yeah, that, that sort of choked me up quite a bit um, and just enabled me to keep going during that, that moment when I was struggling.